As for the NFL draft, Tom Pelissero, um, the quarterback market um, also taps into Baker Mayfield's future. It's quite fascinating that that's the situation entering the 2022 draft um, that uh, Mayfield's sitting around. And the question is, is uh, who might trade for him beforehand and thus they don't take a quarterback or who's going to trade for him after because they didn't get the quarterback they wanted or who's going to be out of the market for him because they did, in fact, get the quarterback they wanted. Uh, walk me through what Mayfield's um, options are as you and I are talking at the moment. Well, really, there's not very many seats that are still available if you're talking about a starting job or a chance to compete for a starting job. I mean, you've got Seattle, you've got Carolina. Uh, Pittsburgh would be surprising because they already had Mitch Trubisky. They're more likely to draft one. Houston potentially could be in that market. The point is you're, you don't have a whole lot of spots. And to this point, there's not been a lot of indications that anybody – uh, wants to put forth draft pick compensation for uh, Baker Mayfield at a time that you still got the draft coming up and you might have other options to fill that spot. So the, the Browns are in a position where Baker, because of the 2020 CBA, they had no options with him. It was already fully guaranteed. So they owe him $18.8 They're going to have to eat either a good chunk of that to get value in a trade for Baker Mayfield. And the question now becomes, do they push to just get the best that they can prior to the draft beginning because the moment that round one starts some teams are going to be acquiring uh, quarterbacks through the draft and you're going to lose some potential suitors or you know if the offers just aren't very good if you have offers then do you wait it out through round one then see who missed out through the first round of the draft and you know see if your leverage actually increases on friday that's what those are the decisions that andrew barry uh, has to make right now from baker's perspective he wanted to go to indianapolis there was at least a, a chance that that could have happened, but then a rare opportunity to get a former MVP pops up with Matt Ryan. They made that trade instead. Uh, Baker said in that podcast interview or whatever it was that, uh, you know, he thought Seattle was the most likely option. My understanding has not been that the Seahawks right now are looking to make a trade uh, for Baker Mayfield. You got Carolina, which our buddy Ian Rappaport has talked about as potentially the most likely landing spot. I would certainly agree that Carolina, one way or another, I think by next Friday, let's call it, is going to have another quarterback on their roster. The question is just do they do that at number six? Do they potentially trade back from six to get back a pick in the second or third rounds? Because right now they don't have one. And then try to get somebody either lower in the first round or you know through rounds two or three. Or are they the team that just – they stand pat, they take a tackle, which was their other big priority in the soft season, and then they look to trade for a Baker Mayfield or a Jimmy Garoppolo or a Kyler Murray or whatever it might be Kyler. Uh, wow. come day two of the draft. I mean, those are those are all the kind of interconnected pieces of this. I mean, I can't think of a lot of scenarios where you had a couple of quarterbacks like this. I mean, established guys, Baker Mayfield won a playoff game like 16 months ago. You know, he had his best season. You know, he's sitting there with $18.8 million fully guaranteed. And it's pretty apparent um, right now that he's not going to be playing for Cleveland again, though there certainly is a scenario where the Browns would just say, you know what, Deshaun Watson may or may not get suspended at some point. We're not going to release this guy. We owe him all the fully guaranteed money, so we'll wait it out. Maybe he does start at the start of the season if he's willing to show up. Mm. you got Jimmy Garoppolo, who's been to a Super Bowl. He's been to an NFC Championship game. He's sitting there in no man's land because everyone believes that Trey Lance is going to be the quarterback. I know there was talk that the, the 49ers have been offered, you know, a couple of second round picks for Garoppolo. I would fairly tell you, Rich, if that had happened, Garoppolo would have already been traded. So they're still seeing how this entire thing plays out. There's been some potential suitors, Carolina, maybe Houston, uh, that could pop up along the line. But there's not, there's not a lot of uh, scenarios like this in recent NFL history where a couple of guys who have won games in the NFL, a high draft pick, guy who's been to a Super Bowl, are just sitting there. And everybody believes they're being traded, but the spots are beginning to fill up. So keep an eye on both those situations, again, leading up to Thursday night, but then potentially even on Friday morning and afternoon before we get into round two. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 